what's up uh elm street warrior and i'm continuing where i left my last video at and by now i'm pretty sure some of you guys have guessed the movie review that it is and it is no other than 1981's infamous summer classic the burning first of all let me just start off by saying this is absolutely a summer essential watch it's going to be summer in a couple of weeks so definitely getting ready to annual watch for this movie just a good, good time. Basically, it's about a bunch of kids at a summer camp, as usual, getting killed off. In this case, it's by a disfigured guy named Cropsy, who was burned years before by a group of kids, mainly because he was an asshole, so they decided to get even with him and burn him. And he eventually takes revenge and starts killing, killing a whole bunch of horny teenagers at camp years later. First of all, let me just start by saying... It's really cool because, honestly, ironic enough, it'll be 40 years, or it already is 40 years of this movie, so happy 40th anniversary, The Burning. Um, interesting enough, this was also filmed in my home state, New York. Just interesting fact enough. Um, this movie, just overall, just a really good time. I first discovered this movie back from a documentary that I watched as a teenager some years ago called Going to Pieces, Rise of the Slasher Film. And I remember because they showed, like, different clips of the movie. I'm one of those people, when I watch a horror documentary and I see movies that I've not watched before, I always like to go back and watch the movie after they show, like, the different clips. If it intrigues me, I'll go and watch it. And I remember going and watching this not long after I watched that documentary. And I really did like this movie indeed. Just a good time. The kills, not the best. Although I will say the canoe scene is absolutely fucking awesome. As you see on the shirt here with the kids approaching the raft. That whole scene was just awesome. Tom Savini did his ass off with the effects. You know, I know a lot of people praise his work with Friday the 13th and John of the Dead and different movies like that. But I really, really love his work in The Prowler. Another 1981 flasher that it's its 40th anniversary also within this year, so happy anniversary to that. But he also did some really good ass effects for this movie also. So, again, just awesome, awesome all the way around. Most of the characters in the movie, your typical teenagers. Um, it's funny seeing the dude from Seinfeld, I can't think of his name right now, but he actually has hair in the movie, and that was kind of funny to see that. And yeah, just a good, good time with this movie. Um, not really a lot to say because most of the horror community, they have watched this movie. Um, this is definitely a movie I would love, like I said, to put on the projector and watch as a bonfire because it's just one of those movies. You've had other great summer camp slashers, don't get me wrong. You've had Mad Men, Friday the 13th, The Final Tear. Those are all awesome films. Sleepaway Camp. Those are all awesome summer camp slashers. But it is something about the burning that is just different from them all. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's something about the burning that just absolutely rules. And I just love it. Just an awesome film. Um, shout out to Cavity Colors, by the way, for bringing this shirt design back. Because just an awesome, awesome design. And I love it. Yeah, this, by the way, is not the real VHS. Um, this is a VHS boot that I got from a guy in a Facebook group marketplace, but awesome boot. He did his ass off. Shout out to Color and Space for making this. And yeah, just The Burning is just a summer essential watch. I definitely recommend to anyone that has not watched this movie yet to definitely go and watch it because it is definitely a summer essential watch in you should have a pretty good time with it. And there might be some people that won't, but opinions are opinions. But I had a really good time with this one. That's all I really want to say. Until next time, I'm Elm Street Warrior. You can catch me on Instagram. And yeah, happy slasher, guys.